what is going on guys welcome back to another video and in this video we're gonna find out what the issue was on the dyno um i already put the car in the garage look at all this space this is the first time we're using the garage as well i got a new jack and new jack stands as well just for this because i haven't bought none until now as you see we already dropped some residue in the garage when the car was parked right here uh it's been about a week since the dyno day I haven't driven it you can spot down there right there it's already dripping oil as well right there I haven't driven the car since that dyno day so right now what we're gonna do is pretty much try to find where it's leaking from uh, that way I could drive it again I miss driving this thing believe it or not and uh yeah we're gonna get to the bottom of it hopefully i can find it and show you guys well guys uh i spent the whole fucking afternoon trying to fix this stupid loose ass sandwich plate <clears throat> this sandwich plate right here it was loose and uh i tied it in as much as i could it was a bitch to get to to tighten it took off the filter well, I drained the oil, took the filter off, and then tightened it as much as I could, put a new filter, and now I'm just pretty much just getting it done. I just have to uh, pretty much just tighten these up, put some oil, turn on the car, let it idle for a bit, and see if anything happens. Uh, I hope that's where the fucking oil was draining from. It was really loose, like I could literally move it but uh i fixed it as much as i could after this uh, i'll show you guys if anything happened or not hopefully we fixed the problem but we'll see i'm gonna just finish tightening these up and put some oil and then yeah what is going on guys um uh, right now i'm heading to meet up with mendez at miguel's shop as you guys saw in the last clip uh we tried to fix the leak on the oil it's still happening after I put new oil and tighten everything up. So I talked to Mendez and we found out we have to replace the um, the sandwich plate. The sandwich plate that the oil cooler came with, we believe, isn't good. So right now I'm heading to him to pick that up. We'll be heading home and hopefully uh, after we install it, We'll be good to go. So guys, I'm home now and we got what we needed. So this is a new sandwich sandwich plate I'm putting on. Way better than the one I have on. Uh, the angle is really good. So it's not going to hit anywhere uh, like the other one is currently hitting for the, um, for the hoses. Yeah, we're going to install this. It looks like it's going to fucking rain. Oh no, it looks, yeah, definitely going to rain. Holy shit. I have to drain the oil on the car again, which is a huge bummer. Oh yeah, these are uh, Oscar's brakes. These are how we powder coated, well powder coated, we spray painted them. We're just waiting on the stickers to get here and we'll be good to go on that. I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can cause it's really starting to rain. Hopefully I don't get my legs wet or whatever. All right, so I put the new sandwich plate in and I put the hoses on, filter on. Now I just put some oil and hopefully uh, there's no leaks. I'm going to start it after I put the oil and everything to see if there's any leaks. Hopefully there's not. After that, it's cleaning all the excessive oil. I should have done that before since I had a couple days. Now time for the moment of truth. I didn't fill it up all the way. But all right, moment of truth. Hopefully it does not. We fucking finally fixed the oil leak. Now the only thing wrong with the car is the power steering pump, I believe. Oh my God, finally. Is fixed. I just got to put a little bit of more oil in and we'll be good. I want to do the ride height low key. So I might take my wheels off. Don't know yet. What is going on guys? Picking up the camera like months, like a month later. 
I know I haven't been posting. Really, there's nothing I can post at the moment. I'm waiting to take my car to Mendez to uh, check out the car because although I did fix the leak, um, there's still some, like a small leak there. And I wanna figure out where it's coming from and I want him to check where it could be. Um, Cause I can't find it. I don't know where it's coming from but it's really annoying. I hope we could find it and fix it. A pillars, uh, I'm gonna be installing them when I go with him as well. Uh, but yeah, car drives good. I did have a couple of codes pop up on me, but I cleared them. Right now I'm driving the car to see if they pop back up and nothing has popped up again so far. I'm just cutting between clips right now uh, I apologize. I haven't posted. There's just nothing really to post. We're just waiting on Mendez to have time so I can go over there and we can check what's going on with the oil. We can see where, where the oil is leaking from. It's a small oil leak. It's not as big as it was. I'll probably pick up the camera when I'm at Mendez's so we can figure this shit out. I really have no clue where it's coming from. I know I said I was gonna record when I said I was gonna go and get my gauges installed, but I had left my camera and I didn't take it with me. So, yeah. Well, the Z is pretty much uh, finished. Like, with the whole install, it's 100% done. But we do have a couple of small little issues that we need to fix on it. And I'm going to run those through with you guys right now. Before I run it through you guys, I'm going to show you the gauges. I have my boost gauge, AFR gauge, and I have my oil pressure gauge as well. I do want to get a uh, coolant pressure gauge as well, just so I can keep an eye on that one i don't know where i'm gonna put it probably gonna take these one of these out and put it there probably gonna be the clock that i'm taking out i don't really need it now the issues are this one isn't reading right um when he installed the gauges he checked them and all that he said everything was correct so he's thinking it could be a gauge that is just bad so he told me to either buy a new one or go through a warranty on it we're gonna try to do that i did buy the gauge like a, over a year ago so i don't even know if the warranty is still valid for them so i guess we have to check because it doesn't go past 50 and that's pretty weird because if it was at 50 my car would probably fucking blow up or some shit um but yeah that's one problem we have to fix the next problem is when i do pulls my check engine light flashes again we already know the issue it's because i have aftermarket cams on the car and because of the aftermarket cams on the car i have to um contact martin for that to get that sorted um it's like a safety thing that's on the car that happens. Uh, and when that happens, I don't, I can't go into boost. Um, boost doesn't kick in, so that sucks. Yeah, that's about it with the issues that we have to fix. Other than that, just cruising, car drives great. Everything is normal aside from just the boost. But I, I'm gonna probably try it out again and see. Uh, what I can do there um, but yeah I'm gonna talk to Martin uh, about the uh, cam uh, about the check engine light flashing again so we can get that sorted and I already talked to Mendez he told me to send him a photo of it so probably when I get home I'm gonna jack the car up and send him a picture of it if I did do that I'll put the picture right here for you guys to see um, but yeah Car's running great. I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, videos have slowed down. I, I'm sorry about that, guys. Really, it's because I don't really drive the car right now since the issues it has. Um, 
with the oil but once we get that sorted i'll probably record more videos take more photos even my instagram has been pretty dry i did go take photos with my cousin who does do photo shoots if you guys are in the dallas area and want some photos done i will put his in, uh, his instagram right here it'll be also a link to it down below he does really good with the edits man like really good quality go talk to him on instagram in his dms y'all shoot him uh shoot him a message and just let him know i sent you but yeah man <sighs> not much is done and i also want to try to save up for another project like i t did tell you guys before there's a bunch of cars that there is a car in particular that i wanted to get but I wanted to get it way later. But now there's a bunch of YouTubers are starting to buy it. So I think I'm going to hop on that and buy it before they get expensive. Because you, you already know when YouTubers that are big start modifying cars, new cars, those cars end up getting taxed like a motherfucker. You know, they tend to hype up that car and then more people want to buy it. And then it causes the fucking inflation on the price. But it is what it is, you know, the game's the game. I'm gonna try to find one that I can get. They're shooting up. They used to be like eight grand, the car that I'm looking at, that I was looking at to get in the future, which is a car that I've been wanting for a very long time. Um, but um, now they're like at 12, I believe. Especially for the one that I want. Those have always been expensive. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try and find one. I'm gonna try to save up some money. This won't probably be anytime soon. Probably be um, next year, the year after that. Uh, but yeah, this video is really nothing crazy. Um, it could have been if I took my fucking camera to the car meet. You could have seen good, cool cars that are in Dallas area. But it is what it is. One thing I do want to show you guys though. Oh my god, my gauge fell out. One thing I do want to show you guys is the Z's are finished. And I want to show you guys because they're finished and right here. This is the big news that I wanted to show you guys. The Nismo V2 is finished. Look at this thing. It's a little dirty right now. I think there's cats at night over here because look at this. Definitely cats at night over here just sleeping on the cars but yeah they're a little dirty right now i gave them a wash this week but i mean if you look at the floor guys there's so much dirt that gets that goes everywhere because this lot is ass this dealership sucks but it is what it is hopefully we can move soon the z is finished it's up for sale already it should be on our website uh, link in the description down below if you guys are interested in a seven speed automatic nismo v2 spec um yeah just either dm me on instagram or shoot us an email also i have this one for sale this is a uh 2016 this is my old z i still left the upgraded brakes on it i put the this car's nismo exhaust on that one because as you know swap the wheels and the exhaust and the everything pretty much to this one from that one other than the brakes the headers since i was boosting this one the fuel pump still in there and yeah that's pretty much it comes with a nismo exhaust comes with carbon fiber pieces comes with the five percent tint on the sides and yeah it also has the carbon fiber gauge pods um gauge pod covers what else did I leave on this car? Oh yeah, the V2 carbon fiber wing, the V2 Nismo carbon fiber wing. Basically the same as that one's, but in carbon fiber. Those are pretty hard to find nowadays. Not a lot of people make them. Before, um, this one is a one of one, but uh, yeah, there's a company that makes them now. I don't know who it is. Don't know, because I didn't buy it from there. But uh, you guys pretty sure you could find it on the internet. But yeah, guys. Uh, that's gonna be the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully it was somewhat interesting <sighs> Well, you guys were finally able to see the Nismo done the one that we have for sale and the gauge pod 
Uh, just gotta fix those issues, man, and then the car will be 100% ready. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're gonna try to fix these issues and possibly uh, more modifications to the car. I have a couple things coming in that I bought. Hopefully they come in very soon. I do know these parts are gonna take a while to get here. But yeah, something subtle, nothing crazy. Something I've been wanting to do even when I had the old Z. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace out.